Hey guys, Jay Shimura one here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a little bit of pond fishing and it is hot. It is 95 degrees down here in Texas. I was enjoying that 70 degree weather the other day when that cold front came through, but I knew it wasn't gonna last. We're back to how it should be, or how, how it is. Uh, we're heading out to the pond. We're gonna be fishing with some huge rigs that I personally have never caught fish on and I wanna see if we can't get on some fish. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys out at the pond. Right, guys we're out at the pond uh she's just a little bit windy today uh it's been nice and windy here in texas recently but uh blowing the right direction for us to be able to uh launch this bait that i'm gonna be throwing and i'll reveal it to you guys in a second so we're going to go over to the island and uh, we're going to rig up a rod now the rig we're going to be throwing today is none other than the alabama rig i have ne i've caught one fish on it and it's like not even a pound so we're we'll be throwing this big thing today uh try not to break my rod casting it and uh, we'll see if we can't catch some fish so uh let's go and get this thing tied up and uh, we'll go from there it's actually uh minnows up here and they're actually follow oh my god they're actually following this school all right let's see if i can even catch a fish on this thing first cast was successful no backlash that was quite surprising this water is quite murky there are some blades uh, on this bait to kind of put some flash in the water and of course if this thing doesn't work I've got other baits that I know I can catch fish on that's the worst part about this rig is that it picks up any amount of grass small or big see I mean it just runs over it it's like on a lawn mower if you guys need me to remove any grass from your pond call me I'll bring this thing out and I'll just clear out clear up shop doing stuff like this Throwing new things that you previously wouldn't have thought about throwing. That's the dream. I think I'm actually on a tree out there. I just broke it off. $25 rig just gone. I don't know what I even got hung on. I just got hung up and it's gone. That is... That is so unfortunate. And the worst part is, I'll probably never buy one of these again just because I never use them and I never have luck on them. Guys, you hate to see it. That's 25 bucks just down the drain. Used to, I'd get a lot more upset about stuff like that, but now I've just, you know, as much as I've been fishing recently, it happens, it happens. But now we're throwing this nice little swim jig, football head jig, and uh, we're gonna try and get some fish on that. Cast it out here. Boom, hit the water, sink it, and swim it. That's now my goal is just to sink it down and then, yep, see, that's a fish. Can't tell how he is, he just, he's got me in grass, I feel the grass. Yeah. He just got out of it. He's still on, I can't tell how big he is. All he's done is run though, he hasn't come up yet. Oh, it's a good fish. A solid little fish get him up here i was just straight up swimming this thing before but what i did there's actually a grass line that shoots out you can see a patch of it out there it goes out diagonally and so what i did that time is i just sunk this thing down to the bottom uh let it touch bottom and then start swimming it so nice little chunk uh there's definitely bigger in here though see you buddy that is what we're looking for right there it took me a second that's probably going to be the move, is just to sink this thing down and then swim it, rather than just let it hit and start swimming. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. I think we might have a little, small little pattern starting to form here. Something I'm actually going to go ahead and do now, while I'm ahead, I'm actually going to go ahead and tie on a nice little AOT chatterbait, uh, just to see if I can't go ahead and uh, get a different style of bite. We're going to be throwing this AOT chatterbait with a... Uh, a crack and craw as the trailer uh, now chatterbait itself is going to be like this orange brown craw like a mud craw type of thing uh, and then the trailer is watermelon red so it is going to be a little bit opposing in colors but uh, the trend is going to stay the same it is a uh, natural style color Cut this tag we are good to go so one thing i love about aot is the vibration is consistent even when you're reeling like this i'm still getting just as much vibration as i would be if i was like burning it and that's a good fish 
literally just as I was talking about how you can fish it really slow, a nice fish just came up and absolutely crushed it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Solid little two and a half pounder. There we go, AOT in the mouth. This thing absolutely just yomped it. Sometimes that added little bit of vibration is uh, the difference that they need. So, solid little fish. Oh, did a little front flip there. <laughs> Like, I feel like throwing one thing over and over and over again isn't going to do it. See, this is a small one. I'll say that ain't horrible. It's about the same size as the others. It's a little bit smaller. And this fish has been up shallow. Very, very dark. He's got some beautiful colors on him. There we go. Again, on the uh, Crack and Craw AOT combo. A little small one, though. So... Uh, I left all my Wu Tungsten weights at the house, which is just unfortunate. So, I'm going to have to be using a lead weight today. Absolutely gross, disgusting. Uh, use tungsten weights. Use Wu Tungsten weights. I will leave my code in the description below, and uh, you guys can go ahead and check out uh, Wu Tungsten weights and get a hefty discount on them. Worm is rigged, and we are ready to go. And there it is, right there, where we throw on that grass line. Hopefully this tail puts off a bunch of action to draw in these fish. That is the goal. So I have to bank on uh, these fish cruising around, looking at stuff on the bottom. Uh, just like that. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. That's one of the hardest bites I've gotten. I don't know if you ate it on the fall, or what happened, but he absolutely crushed it. That's a good fish. Nice fish. Up on the shore. This thing, keep him off the ground as much as we can. It's gonna be probably the biggest fish I've caught today. Saw a little two and a half pounder. Hook popped right out. Beautiful little fish. It's on the Coatel worm. Love to see it. Plenty more out there. Oh, see you later, buddy. Buddy just absolutely smoked this worm. I don't know if he ate it on the fall or what, but that's the biggest little doop. My rod just <laughs> bowed over. What a good bite. Alrighty guys, we're heading out. Good day. I mean, pretty slow, honestly, but uh, caught fish, had a good time, I learned some new things. Broke off a $25 bait. Wait, what was that? Oh yeah, broke off a $25 bait. That's no fun, but it was a good time. It was a good time. Caught some fish. Again, I learned a few more things about these fish. Uh, that cold front came through and they came up shallow. And then now, two days after that front, they're just kind of scattered. Some of them are still shallow, a bunch of them went back deep. It's a little bit weird. We're gonna go ahead and get home. I'm gonna start editing these videos for you guys. You know, it always amazes me how much this tiny little camera right here uh, can do in telling fishing stories or any videos for that matter. Just got done editing this video and then yesterday's video. I've got a pack for the trip that I hinted at yesterday at the end of the video. So uh, I'm gonna go and let you guys go now. I've got a lot of work to do before I can even go to bed tonight. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss a beat. I'm doing daily uploads. So hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, J.H. Miller went out. See ya.